The a Baytown man is in jail tonight. Get this, accused of mutilating six puppies. And that's not all. ABC 13 reporter Jessica Willie is live downtown with what we know. Very disturbing, Jessica. Yeah, Erica, Justin Belton was arrested over the weekend. He is in jail tonight and will be in court here tomorrow morning. He is charged with four counts of felony animal cruelty, and these allegations are just awful. Justin Riley Belton is in jail tonight, accused of dismembering live puppies. The 44 year old was arrested on Saturday in charging documents. Police say he cut off the legs or paws of living puppies with an unknown object. One had two legs cut off. A search warrant led police to his home in Baytown on Post Oak Drive. Their court records say they found a dead female dog believed to be the mother, as well as several other dogs kept in unsanitary conditions. At the home, which is owned by Belton, according to appraisal district records, a gate restricts access to the front door and a sign next to the search warrant declares the home unlivable. There is an RV in the back and evidence that dogs were once here. Belton's home across from Baytown Junior High in a nice neighborhood of manicured front lawns. Residents were surprised to hear the allegations. Some feared retaliation, frightened by the charges. Belton, who has one felony stalking charge from 2012, remains in jail on bonds totaling $48,000. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Glory, Shalom, to the elect of Yahshua. Shalom, to the other men, women, and children of Yahshua. Who Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy upon them. Shalom to all of you. I want to start off by giving them much due, all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Ha, Kwadas. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring in the works. And Shalom to you believers, to the Akim Wa'agwa, which be your brothers and few of the sincere sisters who subscribe to this truth. All right, I'm your brother Malkia, representing prophets of Pasadena, Texas. All right, so you saw there in that video. All right, man, that's a very cruel act. But then again, hey, you know, that's all the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, man charged, accused of cutting off several living puppies, paws, and legs in Baytown home record says. I read the article, and it pretty much goes into what you heard there in the video. All right. If you want to read the article, I have the link in the description box. Let's just dive into the to the scriptures, okay? Um, let's start with... Uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 10, in the KJV. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Right? The righteous won't treat animals such a way, man. But wicked people, evil people will do such thing. Especially the actual wicked Esau Edom, the so called white man, so called white people. Let's see. Yep. The book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 10. And a good news translation. Good people take care of their animals. But wicked people are cruel to theirs. So that was a wicked individual. Justin Belton. I think that's the, that was his name. He was a wicked person. And he was cruel to his animals. But good people. Righteous. Right? The, the children of Yahweh Bashem Shai will take care of their animals. All right? so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians. All right. Um, I'm going to close that one now. Let's see. Let's get this very quick. 
the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12 in the KJV. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You get that in the GNT, it breaks down what it means. I think it's the GNT or the NIV. Let me check, hold on. Um, yeah, the NIV. So the same book, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12, in the New International Version, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, right? Let's go back to the KJV. And because iniquity, right, wickedness, shall abound and increase the love of many shall wax cold and we're seeing that the more of the wickedness that increases here on earth here in america the love of men gonna wax cold all right so expect the tender the tender mercies of the wicked to be cruel towards creatures in general animals puppies people little children Elderly, and the list goes on, all right? Because it's going to it's going to get more wicked out here. Um, let's get this very quick. The book of Jeremiah, chapter thirteen, verse twenty three, in the KJV. Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leper his spots? No, right? Right? It can't, right? Of course not. Because that's just how our power made them, right? Made the Ethiopian skin to be that way. The spots of a leopard, right? Um, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So two-thirds of our nation are accustomed to do evil on this side in this lifetime. Uh, Esau, Edom, the very wicked, right? The Adawamium, Edomites, the red people, the so-called, the self-proclaimed white people, right? They can't do good because they are accustomed to do evil, right? You cannot take something clean from an unclean thing. You can't, all right? It's just who they are. They were designed to be wicked, evil, for the tender mercies to be cruel towards animals, all right, towards people, towards everything, okay? Um, let's see. All right, it's going to be the last one. It's going to be straight to the point. If there's any scriptures that comes to mind, Akim, feel free to uh, copy and paste some things in the comment section. So the flock can get fed, get edified. The book of Psalms, chapter 58, and verse 3, KJV. The wicked are a string, uh, a string from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Right? As soon as these as soon as evil people are born, they just already doing evil shit. Speaking lies, always speaking lies, man. Um, let's get that another version right quick. I think the G and T. Um, I think the Amplify is a good one too. Let me get the G and T first. Um, here we go. And the Good News translation for the Book of Psalms, chapter fifty-eight, and verse three. G and T. Evil doers. Go wrong all their lives. So these Edomites are the Wamium, right? So called white people. They are evildoers who go wrong all their lives because what we read in the other scripture in Jeremiah, right? Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leper his spots? That he does custom to do evil. Uh, right? This is paraphrasing, right? They're accustomed to do evil, right? So they're gonna, so they're gonna go wrong all their lives. Evil doers go wrong all their lives. They tell lies 
they tell lies from the day they are born. Edomites, that's all they do is speak lies, man. All right, cause that's what they're born to do. Even when they're telling some truth, they're still twisting it and still telling a lie. Let's get that in Amplify right quick. All right. The Amplified Bible for the book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 3. The wicked are as strangled from the wound. They go, Wissalakia, these go astray from birth, speaking lies, even twisted partial truths. All right. Even though these damn devils, you know, they may tell the truth here and there, but they're still telling lies. They're still speaking lies, even twisted, partial truths, okay? But, you know, that's the thing I wanted to get, though, was how, you know, evil people are going to be evil towards animals, you know, creatures, anything that moves, moveth on the earth or in the seed and the, and, and, and the heavens and the skies, right? Because that's just who they are. They're accustomed to do evil. So the more wicked, the more of the iniquity that abounds here on earth, especially here in America, right? The more the increase of the wickedness, expect these people to be more cold towards everything and everyone. All right. So Albert Roth is that the lesson was that a fine? All right. I want to close out by giving a much do of phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachachakwadash, the Wada Abba Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Kaya Rachachakwadash, giving thanks to our power for the Holy Spirit, and double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring in the works. And shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who subscribe to this truth. DTA, Abal Baba Soon, Death to America, Destroy Babylon, which is America, the city of confusion, Soon. Abba Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bab Kusha Bab Kusha Bab Kusha Shalak Rayam Wa Ainashim Wa Abayim Wa Haragim Wa Mashapatim Al Ka Adawamim Wa Gawayim Wa Ayabim Nawa Wa la hamarayim, wa la baba, a baba ba, a baba ba, a baba ba, baba kusha, baba kusha, baba kusha, yahawa bahashim, yahawa shai, tawada amam.